This is an arachnid from the island of Tasmania. Shahan Der Karabadian took this photograph during a trip there. After capturing the rare creature with his camera, the reaction to it has been kind of funny. When I put photos of this on social media, a lot of people thought this was from the ocean. <laughs> I had to correct multiple people. They all, mm -hmm. That's crazy. Oh, it, it's amazing what we can find in the ocean. Like, no, this is, <laughs> this is from underneath a log. Dr. Shahan, as he's sometimes called, took up macro photography after he got frustrated with the poor photos he was trying to take through his microscope. This tri-flash here. He says taking these super close photographs help you to get to know the creature much better. You see how they how they move, you're, you're paying attention to the fine details of how they look and maybe things you wouldn't notice just from um, somebody else's photograph, right? Because when you're, when you're looking at that camera and you're looking at them and you see this weird structure, you want to focus on it. Shahan attended San Diego State and got his Ph.D. from UC Riverside. He spent five years at Harvard as a postdoctoral fellow. He has focused his studies on arachnids called opiliones, also called daddy longlegs, also called harvestmen, like this one, Libunum vitatum, which is very common in the U.S. These arachnids are not spiders, and it's easy to tell them apart. Spiders will have two body parts but Apiliones will have a fused, and so they're basically a ball with legs. That's kind of the easy way to tell them apart. Harvestmen, they, they don't have venom, they don't have fangs, they don't make silk, they don't have webs or anything like that, and they're completely harmless. He describes them very simply, but harvestmen come in many varieties, like this one, another native of Tasmania, and this one, Trogolus tricarinatus, originally from Europe, now seen along the U.S. eastern seaboard. Dr. Shahan found one in a park where he'd eat lunch while going to Harvard. Shahan is a SoCal native who fell in love with nature at a very early age, growing up on the edge of development in Rancho Cucamonga. He says to go into nature, he just had to cross the street. There was one day I remember, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to bugs or anything, and I flipped this rock and there was a giant centipede. <laughs> and it scared me, but I couldn't look away. And now he's collecting those creeping hidden creatures for the gnat in San Diego. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.